for that. And I just wanted to see if there was any questions, comments, things that you took away from the movie that you thought were empowering or just empowering. Yes, Dan, and please just use the microphone so people can hear you in the room. Even though he drives people up a wall by talking too loud. Uh, <laughs> but, um, you know, I, I, I view this with mixed feelings because on the one hand, in terms of what good it is for individuals to be socially connected, the, that's really, really clear. I think both in terms of almost any of our, you know, unless we're a total, total, total introverts, and even for introverts, <laughs> you point out, um, uh, just in terms of one's own feelings and in terms of the public health studies that have been done, um, as I say, from the point of view of an individual, um, being a member of an organization is, is really, really valuable. Um, being a member of multiple organizations, having a wide friendship network, all of these are extremely valuable and healthy. Having said that, what I think is not clear from this is how do you make it happen? You know, it's not healthy for me um, to drive to work every day instead of using something that would make me work more. Um, but the whole structure of where I work and where I live and how I would have, what I would have to do to do that make that really, really, really hard. In fact, impossible. And so the structures of society, whether it's physical organization or time or whatever, um, I think are one of the constraining factors that makes it really, really hard for somebody to just get up and say, yeah, I'm going to join three groups and clubs in my community. Um, so, you know, it's, it's, the, um, it's the how to do that. Um, it's a great idea, but, I, you know, near, merely simply resolving to say, I'm going to be a better person. Well, how many people do you know who, by saying to themselves, I'm going to be a better person, have actually transformed themselves. I mean, I think it takes more. And I don't know what that more is. And that's what's kind of frustrating. Okay. It's interesting that in Alexis de Tocqueville's book in 1823, uh, he coined two words, right? One of them is about the power of associations in America. He also coined the term individualism. And he was trying to come up with the word was, what is it about the Americans that they also have? And they talks about that, the, the tension between collective, the communal, and our individualistic experience. Well, that was a great point that was brought up in the film, the way the system, the way American life is structured, actually mitigates against us forming social connections. Yep. Yep. And that's a really good point. And I think, you know, to your point about how difficult it is, well, I just have to say, we all had the opportunity to watch this online. Do you know this is streaming on Netflix? So I thought... It is. We came here. It's streaming on Netflix, which I knew. But I thought, well, you know what? That's going to undermine the whole message of this film and the theme of the point. And the theme of tips. So I think, you know, the first step was just getting together here tonight. <laughs> And of course, the challenge of now, I don't even need community. I can use DoorDash. I can order everything I need. I mean, Adam Smith and the Wealth of Nations, when he described capitalist system, was that it was a symphony of social engagements that would lead to more ethical behavior. And now, I really don't even need people. I can just connect everything through my computer at home or through my cell phone. Other comments? Yes. I think that it's really interesting that, um, historically speaking, that there have been times and places where associations have been banned, and so it just sort of proves the, the power of associations. Sure, yep. I, I work with a lot of young gay people, and that's the thing I say as a gay man also, is I go into the gay bars and I say, where are you? How come you're not participating in community activity? And said, well, you know, why are we, people don't care about us, we don't care about them. And I said, you know what, if you don't care about them, they're going to stop caring about you for sure. So I would like to say that we, we should uh, figure out why it was so easy back then to build these clubs, to, to do these communities, and why is it so difficult now, yeah. right? Yeah. And I think back then there wasn't 
this technology. Sure, 67 percent. That is one of the reasons. 67 percent of the average American's time now is spent on the computer. Mm -hmm. That uh, is uh, correct. Social engagement. Yes. yes. Right behind you. Um, so I don't know where I'm going with this, but just two comments. Um, after the 2016 election, um, I got involved in my local school board. Like I started going to the school board meetings, and there was a lot of us who got involved in our town in Leonia doing that, and just kind of I found it good. There was community building, and that was kind of a good positive thing when things in a larger area weren't going so well. Um, and then also during um, the pandemic, our community are sort of organized by our mayor, but we had like these, I don't know exactly what we called them, like these groups that helped our neighbors. Yeah, yeah. Like, Leonia Cares. Leonia Cares. We did like mm -hmm. reaching out to our older neighbors and doing a bunch of things. So there's been these little moments of, or sometimes they lasted longer than others, but it kind of like ebbs and flows. And I think sometimes people feel exhausted and don't, like right now, I'm not sure I feel like doing this, but but it was it was really good to get involved in these things. Sorry, I was just going to say that also I think you find in terms of volunteerism that a lot of times it's the same people who are volunteering for all the different things. And I think there's a lot, a lot of people have the attitude that, well, somebody else is going to do it. How many of you in this room belong to a club, organization, or a congregation of some sort? Raise your hand. I think that's why they're in the room. Yeah. So I just yeah. think, you know, how do we how do we combat that idea that somebody else is going to do it? I don't need to worry about sure. it. Sure. We have more fun than being alone. I think that's one thing. Yeah. Others? Rich? Very good points. Thank you all. I can, I can tell you at least one thing, though about my parents who were from the lower class and not educated, of which apparently we have quite a few in this country. They did not have time. They were too busy with their own problems, not having enough money for enough options. And as far as I'm concerned, politically, this has been happening in this country since, oh, probably Nixon with the first HMO, which was for profit. Before that, uh, in general, medicine was non-profit, and now it's all about money. And it's all about money these days, pretty much. And it gives the, even the younger generation, they have so much worry about money and uh, the social situation, they don't have time to do other things. And somehow we have to change that. That whole notion of the African proverb that a young man who doesn't feel welcome into a community will burn it down to fill its warmth. That's an interesting proverb, I think. Go in. <coughs> Uh, two quick points. Um, number one, I'm, I'm a first generation immigrant. I came from India. The first generation immigrant is trapped in his own ghetto, like the Indian in his Indian ghetto, the Pakistani in his Pakistani ghetto. And they don't feel socially isolated because there are enough number of friends they have within that community. This may not hold for the second generation, but this is something we need. It's a common culture which keeps us together. Number one. Number two, some, uh, we keep berating the social media for um, atomizing the individual, like you just said before the computer. But in India, something very different is happening. First, you have a Facebook group. You are on your computer. But very soon, in each city, a Facebook group keeps meeting face to face. Facebook is just a segue, and then people meet face to face. So this is perhaps one of the ways to go. Sure, that was recently Zuckerberg said that that was the purpose of Meta now, was that was to bring people together. We'll see if that works. It is coming uh, to that interesting part of saying that we're, we're trying to put diverse community together, which is much, much harder. We're one of the most uh, diverse places on the planet. And it's much harder to bring this together unless we learn the skills of diverse community building. In fact, it's a good measure of how much you believe in community to the effect that you do learn these skills. You do learn how to participate and work with people that are very different from you. Any other comments? Yes, we'll take Dan, you already talked. <laughs> Just a quick one that that um, everybody has the uh, you know they 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 get into a, a, a thing of 
watching television every night uh, from the time they get home till the time they go to bed. And it, this is huge. This is huge because then you don't you don't have people coming in and watching with you. You know, you know. I mean, it's it's very. It's very difficult. Though. You have the artificial sense of community that this is my connection, this is my family, these are my stories. I get yeah. involved in those stories and feel connected to yeah. that, yeah. and we lose yeah. this connection yeah. also. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Uh, thanks to Tiff for making this possible, for bringing this together. Uh, what a great thing y'all do. Uh, these kind of wonderful community associations and bringing people together around stories and the work you're trying to do are so important. We were so happy to. to, to to praise you for doing that last year because the work is very valuable for all of you. And thank for all of you for coming out tonight and participating in the community uh, once again and listening to these great stories. Thank you all so much. <laughs>